tonight and you're watching TVS News with me, Razi Ahmad. Allegations of money politics in the PKR party polls must be paired with evidence. PKR Wanita Chief Zuraida Kamaruddin urged Rafizi Ramli to present evidence of money politics in the PKR election. Itulah saya kata jawapan saya, kita akan investigate. Are you aware? No, I, now that you're telling me, I'm aware lah. <laughs> She was commenting on Rafizi's statement, which contested the deputy president's post at party elections, claiming that money politics was rampant in the six states which had been holding elections. She, who is contesting for the vice president's post, said she did not know if there was money politics in party elections and the allegations were baseless if no evidence was presented. Meanwhile, earlier Deputy Prime Minister and PKR President Dato Sri Dr. Wan Aziza Juan Ismail said that the allegations will be investigated. The PKR polls are ongoing nationwide and will end on November 10. The retail prices for all cigarette brands will be increased by next month. Health Minister Dato Sri Dr. Zulkifli Ahmad said the prices of tobacco products, including cigarettes, had to be increased due to an increase in taxes under Regulation 8A of the Tobacco Revenue Control Regulations 2004. He added the prices of tobacco products, including cigarettes, had to be increased due to an increase in taxes under Regulation 8A of the Tobacco Revenue Control Regulations 2004. On a smoking ban in the Parliament building, Dr. Zulkifli said eight compound notices were issued including to Member of Parliament since yesterday's enforcement. The action was taken following the declaration of smoking corners and eating places in the Parliament building as a smoke-free zone effective yesterday. A dog owner today became the first offender in Sarawak to be fined 500 ringgit for bringing a dog out of a rabies-infected area here in Limbang without a permit from the state veterinary authorities. Deputy Chief Minister Dato Amar Douglas Unga said the man was fined under Section 37.2.3 of the Veterinary Public Health Ordinance 1999 for transporting the dog by air to Lawas with a transit in Miri on October 8. Following the information from the Malaysia Airlines agent in Lawas and the public, Dato Amar Douglas said officers from the Lawas Veterinary Services Department arrested the man after he was fined to have no permit to move the dog from a rabies-infected area. He said this in a statement today. That has been the latest news. I am Razi Ahmad and thank you for watching.